My name is Peter from My PC Surgery. For more video tutorials, head over to www.mypcsurgery.com. Today, I'm going to show you how to create some address labels using OpenOffice. OpenOffice is a great free alternative to Microsoft Office and it's available as a free download from the internet. I've already downloaded it, so to get started, we need to double click on the OpenOffice icon on your desktop. And that will open up this first page. Now you have to decide what type of document you're going to create. Now address labels are held as templates in OpenOffice. So we need to actually select the templates option, which is this one down in the bottom right hand corner. If we click on that, it brings up an open uh, window where you can actually see all the uh, templates you have on your system. Well, I've only actually got the one, which you can see here, these address labels 14 per sheet, and that matches the, the uh, labels I've bought. Now, you can actually get labels or more templates online for free from OpenOffice by clicking on this web link here. Now, I've actually got this web page already open, and this is where that link will take you, which is to the OpenOffice templates. And here you can do a search. Um, for instance, I typed in labels there, and you could do a search on labels. And the, uh, the, the web page will actually give you a listing here of all the types of address labels and types of business labels that are available. And you can download as many as appropriate that you want. But we're happy, we've got our address labels, so let's go back to OpenOffice. We need to select, so highlight the address labels, the one we want to open, and click Open. And we come into OpenOffice, and for those of you who are familiar with Microsoft Word, the look and feel and format is very, very similar. You can see that we've actually got the template is superimposed on the page, so the outline of the, of the labels are here. And the cursor is already positioned in the first label, ready for you to start typing away. So let's make up a, a simple address. Very silly looking address, but that doesn't really matter. Now, you can see that the, by default the, the address is actually positioned towards the left-hand side of the label. Now that's fine because it's actually within the boundaries of the label, which you can see here, and that's the most important thing, to make sure your text is always kept within the, the, the border of the, of the label. But I actually like to have mine slightly more centralised. So if I click and hold and drag, so I select for all of the address, it's all highlighted, and then go up to the tab bar and click and select the increase indent. And click. If you notice, every time I click on the increase indent, it moves the the address towards the middle. So I quite like it in that position. So that would be fine for me. So if I'm happy with that one, I go to my next lab address. Lab, so I position my cursor only within there. Click. So my cursor is there, and I'm ready to to go on and type in my next label. And you can use the tab key if I want to, to move between labels um, all the way down. And if you tab all the way to the bottom and carry on, every time you, you tab again, it'll automatically start a new page for you. So go into each label, put in your address, format it as you wish. And once you're finished, all you need to do, let's go back to the top again, is to save my document because remember if you look at the top it's currently untitled so we haven't saved this so we need to save our labels so we click file save and a window comes up asking me where I wish to save and I'll, yes I'm quite happy to save these labels in my documents the file name currently the default is untitled one so let's put in a more sensible name call them address labels 
Christmas. The default save type is ODT or ODFs, which is a, 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 an open office format. That's fine. So we'll just click save. And as you can see now, my address labels have been saved. Okay, that's all there is to it. Now to file, exit the program. Exit that window, and there we are. Address labels created simply using OpenOffice. My name's Peter from My PC Surgery. Check out our website at www.mypcsurgery.com for more video tutorials. Bye for now. See you next time.